Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can optimize your title tags and your meta descriptions for your Wix website. And this is gonna be the part five of this Wix advanced tutorial. And this is not really that advanced, but I'm gonna walk you through how I set up my title tags, how I set up my meta descriptions in order to get a better ranking in Google, as well as how to increase your click-through rate. Because if you have a title tag and a meta description that is actually compelling to the user that searches for different keywords, you're gonna be able to get a better ranking just because people are clicking more on your uh, ranking instead of your competitors in the search results. So let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, our website right here, which we, we built in the last episode in this series where we basically talked about how you can make a landing page for whatever keyword you're trying to rank for or the service you're trying to offer and rank for that page, right? And what we basically did is just walk through how to set up a good layout for the actual page. Uh, this layout right here is beautiful with our uh, Santa right here. But as you can see, the keyword we were trying to target was wedding photography in New York. So what we want to do right now is edit our title tag and meta description. So let's say your uh, page is done, you have all the content you want on the page, you're showing off your photography or your construction or your electricity jobs or whatever you're doing, whatever service you're trying to offer and rank for. Uh, you have put all the information down on this page that is relevant to the keywords you want to rank for. And right now, the last, or not really the last step, but one of the steps we are going to go through right now is the title tags and a meta description. Uh, you can reach these by going right here in Wix, clicking on the three dots and going to SEO in Google. And right here, you can see the title tag, which is right here and the meta description, which is down below, which is gonna show the information. So if I put test right here, you can see it right here, and that is gonna be the meta description. Uh, as well as right here, you have the actual link, which we are gonna walk through as well. So the first step is that we are, are gonna wanna look at our competitors, and we are trying to rank for Wedding Photography New York. So let's take a look at what our competitors are doing. So at the top, you have all the ads. We don't wanna look at these because these are not really competing with us in our organic search, even though they are, but they are not competing in the same way. Uh, accidentally clicked on that one. And right here you have the other like local uh, listings on Google My Business. And right here you have the actual organic uh, searches or organic rankings. So the first one has wedding photographers in New York and I, uh, NI, which is like a short for New York. Uh, New York City wedding photographers, reviews for 64, something else. New York uh, wedding and portrait photography, 10 best affordable wedding photographers. Uh, so they do have like optimized titles. And what they do is that they put their keyword in the title as well as the city in order to just get that organic ranking because you want to rank for wedding photography in New York and not just wedding photography. Wedding photography overall is gonna be a much more competitive keyword, so I'm not quite sure you're gonna be able to rank for it. Uh, but the reason why you don't wanna rank for keywords like uh, this broad is that you're gonna reach people in uh, different cities where you might not be operating and you might get it, people in different countries. So unless you are like a global brand, you're not gonna wanna go for these global uh, keywords and unless you're like selling a selling a product online or selling an online service which you actually can uh, rank for more broad or more international keywords so what we are want to do gonna want to do is rank for our more local keyword which is wedding photography in New York because we are located in New York and you can even do it more localized New York is quite a big city so you can do wedding photography in Manhattan, uh, wedding photography in Brooklyn, uh, stuff like that just to get to a, get it more, more narrowed down and make the keyword a lot easier to actually, actually rank for. Because uh, we do have a lot of results and there's a lot of competitors under this one. So it kind of depends on how much work you want to put into it. And if you want to start ranking for less competitive keywords at first and then expand your website after that. But we are going to go for wedding photography in New York. So we have taken a look at our competitors. If we want to see the whole description, some descriptions are going to be dots like this. This is because they are not 
uh, because you can't really see the whole format. Depends on your screen, if you're on mobile, if you're on a laptop, if you're on a, a full PC, uh, it's gonna show different sizes right here. But if you can't see the whole thing, just copy a link from one of the listings. If you wanna take a look at what your competitors are doing, go to Hey Meta and put it in right here. And you can see the actual title tag and description that they're using and take a look at what you could do as well. So we're trying to rank for New York, uh, Wedding Photographer New York, which is the keyword we, we wanna use. So we're gonna put that in the beginning of our title tag right here. You can even do uh, in New York. NYC is probably good because I, I imagine that some people are not going to even put New York, they're just going to put NYC. And then we could put something that is going to grab someone's attention, something that, that is going to make people click on your actual ranking. Because what Google is going to take a look at is that if people start clicking on this one more, Google is going to say, oh, this website definitely has more relevant content compared to the not at the top. So what we're going to do is move this one to the top instead of the not. And it depends as well, like how long people are staying on the page, if they are they're looking at more content, going deeper into your website. Uh, but just to give you an overview of what it actually does is that you wanna actually get the actual click for, from people uh, searching for stuff, right? So what these people are doing top 10 is definitely a good way of grabbing people's attention. Uh, but what you can do as well is you can put example, number one wedding photographer in New York and I, when I see, let's do it like this. And it's all really about being creative. You could take, really just take a look what other people are doing because you can tell what is working and what is not working. And something to remember is that you can always change these as well. Uh, you can test it out for a month, for a two, for two months, just to see uh, what your click-through rate is. You can check that on Google Search Console, and then you can compare it. If you change it to something else, is it going to be better? Is it going to perform worse? Uh, something else you can put if you have like, let's say your prices are a lot lower uh, than other people, you can put it right here, like from seven, let's say, let's say from $550. Let's say that it's cheap. I don't or I have no idea how much people are charging for wedding photography. I'm guessing $550 is very cheap compared to how much people actually spend. So let's say from $550 uh, per wedding, you probably know the terms better if you're an actual <laughs> wedding photographer. Uh, something else you can do, which definitely works, is that you capitalize each and every word, uh, which is just a way to make your text stand out. You want your actual ranking to stand out compared to your competitors. And something important to keep in mind is that you want to keep this under 70, uh, 70 characters. And we are going to actually go to... Uh, I'm gonna go for a word counter just to see how many words we got. 65, okay, so we're still under, we're on the, on the way. So number one wedding photography in New York and I see from 550 per wedding. And then what I normally would do is actually put the brand at the end, but we don't have uh, enough room to actually do that. So we're gonna skip it right now. I think this looks pretty good. Number one wedding photography in New York when I see. Uh, the keyword we probably would rank for is to make it just look better is probably wedding photographer in New York, right? Uh, but this is gonna work for now. Uh, so let's put this in right here. So this is gonna be our title tag for this page. And remember, it's very important to make sure that you actually have the keyword in the title tag and it doesn't have to be in order. You can put wedding photographer, uh, photography and then New York at the end, it doesn't matter. Uh, but something that people, or at least I try to do a lot, is try to keep the keyword in the beginning of the, of the actual title tag. Because people, when they're searching for 
wedding photography in New York, they want to make sure that the page that they, they are clicking on actually is about the keyword they're searching for. Because if I'm searching, searching for wedding photography in New York and there's a page ranking wedding photography LA, I'm not going to uh, click on that keyword or that ranking because it's, it's not related to my search. People want to get searches that are related to what they're searching for. Is that easy? We've got a title tag, number one wedding photography in New York. And then we got our meta description. So in the meta description right here, you want to make sure that you are uh, basically describing your page uh, as well as using the keyword itself and also enticing people to click on your ranking compared to your competitors. So let's take a look at what our competitors in the rankings are doing. Uh, find the best New York City wedding photographers. Wedding Wire offers review prices and availability for 642 wedding photographers in New York City. So that is a good meta description. And uh, let's see here, Sam Blake. Sam Blake is a wedding photographer based in New York. Name one of the top 10 wedding photographers in World by America, a photo magazine. So this is definitely enticing. Uh, if you're looking for a wedding photographer, uh, this right here is definitely gonna uh, entice people to click on his actual ranking. Something else people like to see is numbers. And you can really tell that in this search right here, you have the top tens and you have this one, 77.4 Prof tra Traffic Wedding, uh, the 12 best wedding photographers in New York. So there's definitely a lot of numbers going on and people like uh, seeing numbers for some reason. Right here, reviews for 649. Uh, wedding photographers, right? So there's a lot of numbers going on. I'm actually gonna write a text real quick and then I'll be right back with the actual result of this description I've written down. So let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the meta description I've come up with. Gustav is a New York wedding photographer serving all of New York. When I see right here, just to rank for that keyword as well, from Manhattan to Brooklyn, Gustav is a very simple and relaxed style once working in wedding photographer in New York. So what we got right here is our meta description, which is gonna go right into this box right here, which is basically just gonna describe what we are, what I'm offering on my page, okay? And what you wanna try to do is keep it under 300 characters. I usually try to keep it even low and lower than that. Around 200 is usually good. Um, but just a good overall overview of what I did is that I have the keyword New York, uh, because th that is where we want to uh, target our actual keyword. And then there's wedding photographer. I would do this wedding photography since th that is the actual keyword we want to target. Uh, but it's just gram grammatically is wrong to put photography in this, this sentence right here. So I would write the, this text in some other way. I would probably not even try to rank for New York wedding photography. I would probably rank for New York wedding photographer uh, because people are searching for a photographer and not photography, right? Uh, but let's just say this is photography and it just looks good. Uh, serving all of New York and that way I put in the when I see instead of the actual New York keyword So we're gonna rank for that one as well from Manhattan to Brooklyn So if people search for wedding photography Manhattan or Brooklyn uh, my page can get recognized for those keywords as well So if you want to make a broader page just cover the same area because these searches are kind of related and they are similar in area, right? so you are able to put uh, similar parts of your city in the actual keyword in order to make it uh, make it into one page. But you can also make a page around a wedding photographer in Manhattan or Brooklyn in order to get a, a, a broader a grasp of your ac actual keywords. And you can better optimize the content around those keywords as well. So if you really want to rank uh, faster and as well as better, you can also do wedding photographer in Manhattan and Brooklyn, write content around those pages as well and have their own meta titles and meta descriptions or title, title tag and uh, meta description on those as well. Finally, we're at the bottom and right here, you just wanna put wedding photographer or photography and the actual place you want to target. So wedding photography, New York. And that is actually gonna be it for writing the content on your actual page. All of that is gonna be done and this is how you write a good 
title tag as well as a good meta descriptions in order to rank for your actual keywords. And keep in mind, you wanna make sure that all the content you're writing is optimized for the keyword you want to rank for. So if I'm offering wedding photography in New York, I don't wanna start talking about, oh, I actually did a wedding photography in LA as well, or uh, some other city, because that is gonna uh, make Google think that you want to rank for wedding photography in Los Angeles as well under that same page, which you don't want, to, don't want to, right? So you only want to talk about things that are related to your actual keyword. So that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Plus subscribe if you want more content like this and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll make sure to answer all of your questions as good as I can. You can also join our free Discord channel down below where you can talk to me or talk to other people and ask them questions on how you can fix either your SEO, marketing, uh, whatever it can be, you can go ahead and join the community right there. That is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.